Hey Venom, I'm with you. Welcome back to some more X Company within the Long War. So, I'm going to continue where I left off. We got an Exalt mission incoming in two days. We're also going to finish some Aegis armor. So that's perfect. We got a laser cannon, that's for our last interceptor. I might need more interceptors than this, but this will have to be enough, at least for now. Alright, scan for activity. And what's that? Interesting. I'm not quite sure what that is. That's not an abductor. Let's see, I might be able to do some damage. But I don't think I can shoot it down. Not with only two interceptors. That's not going to happen. That's very unlikely to happen at least. Alright, let's not take any damage. Because one of my interceptors is already being repaired. And there's the Exalt mission, but I'm going to wait for the Aegis armor. It should be done in the next few hours easily. So scan for activity. And there's the Aegis armor. Now we can do the Exalt mission. Excellent. Oh, that's a mission with four soldiers. Hey, I don't mind. I've not had one of those in a very long time. In three or four months, if not longer than that. Alright, Bagels is definitely coming. Ivan is coming too. I'm not going to use a medic. I'll just give one or two soldiers a med kit. But the way I like to do this is just bring a lot of firepower. So that means I probably want an assault. We need an officer. So that could be some. And now I could also bring Kerry. Or I could bring Sarah. She's a tech sergeant. So that means she has killer instinct. Yeah, that works. Just to get experience. Right. So, bagels. I could bring someone else instead of bagels. Let's see. We do have other mech troopers available. I could bring Hulk. Is he close to promotion? Yeah, he is. Let's actually bring Hulk then. Alright. So, Pulse Lance. Kinetic Strike Module. Flamethrower. Alloy Belt and Hollow Targeter. He doesn't really need the extra ammo. He can't shoot twice per turn like Bagels. He might even get a promotion from this mission, but we'll see. Next time, Sarah. I can give Aegis armor to everyone, which is quite nice. Scatter Blaster, and I can use the actual blaster. She'll have 17 mobility still. Well, 16 like this, but that's still pretty good for an assault. And either Medkit. Or chitin plating. 17 hit points for an assault. Yeah, sure. Okay, do I actually want Ivan for this one? Let's see. Maybe not. How about a sniper? Yes, that's not a bad idea. William? Maybe some other sniper who needs experience? I don't really want to use a specialist for this mission. That's not a very good idea. I could probably do it. That seems like a really crazy idea. To use a specialist. For an exalt mission with only four soldiers. No, let's not do that. Who can really use experience here? What about Kelly? Yeah, she's not that close to a promotion. I guess I'll just go for William. Yeah, okay, that works. I need a sniper with snapshot. Because I will be moving around a lot. So, pulse rifle. I mean, pulse sniper rifle, obviously. Scope and... What? Cutting plating. He needs the Aegis armor. That's 11 hit points. Scope and medkit. I need at least one or two medkits for this. So, medkit. And Sam will have to use the other medkit. Yep. Medkit and the scope. Yeah, I like that combo. That gives him over 100 aim with the pulse rifle. I like that. And 13 hit points. That should be good enough. And I think we're ready. This is a pretty strong setup. Let's go then. We should get some nice experience from this. We have 
visual on the mission. I need to get repaired servos on Hulk, and he needs more experience for that. That ability is so important. Especially for mechs that are supposed to be tanky. Okay, let's get started then. Our operative is up here. I actually quite like this map. Yeah, yeah, can we get started yet? Here's the first com relay. And here's the second com relay. Anyway, I like this map because it's very easy to reach the operative. Some of the maps can be really annoying with that. Alright, let's move. I'll probably see some exalts on the first turn. Yep, on the left side. Only two exalts. Okay. I might actually back up and let them come to me instead. That's not a terrible idea. I can take a shot with William. Right, he has snapshots, so I can actually move and then take a shot. That's a much better idea. I'm not going to leave him in the open. 73%. That's pretty good. I could use disabling shot, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. I'll just back up with Hulk. So that they will have to move towards me. And that was a really nice crit. Can I actually reach these guys with a grenade? Possibly. Let's see. No. Okay, whatever. That's fine. They will die anyway. 57%? I could try to kill him. Hulk can take a few hits. Okay, that's a kill. That was worth it then. Only one guy left. And I still have Sarah. And Sam. I could move up and hunker down. That's not a rocketeer. No, that's not a rocketeer. I could overwatch, but I think I prefer to hunker down. I don't really want him to hit Sam. Alright. Let's not trigger any other groups. That would be pretty bad. And hunker down. He will probably target Hulk. Because that's technically an exposed target. And he will have much lower chance to hit Sam when he's hunkering down. Yep, he targeted Hulk, that's fine. And yep, we got another group incoming. I'm glad I didn't move too close to the building, because I would have triggered that group. Need to be careful to not get flanked. So, let's see. I should kill that guy first, that's for sure. Let's do it. Nice, 9 damage. I need one more hit. I could move a little bit closer and throw a grenade, but that's too risky. I don't want to trigger yet another group with my operative. I can shoot twice with Sam. Hopefully he will hit at least once. Okay, that was a miss. 22%. He does have the gene mod. Yep, that's a kill. So, what about these guys inside the building? Hulk can move towards them. There they are. No, that's a different group. Only two exalts. Can I hit one of them? Hmm, what about the flamethrower? No, not really. Yeah, the problem is they are actually flanking us now. So that's pretty bad. Hit this guy. Well, that kind of worked. We also destroyed the wall in the process. I could use run and gun and maybe kill one of them. And I think I'll do it. Hmm. I should do it. They can both flank both Sam and my sniper. And this should be a granted kill. I just don't want Sarah to get flanked. But she has 17 hit points. Where exactly do I move though? There were some more exalts in this area, so I should move like this. Alright, let's do that. Okay, and this should be a kill. 100% chance to crit. Nice one. We do have one guy left, but if he tries to move, he will trigger close combat specialist. And he will probably move, because I'm flanking him, and yeah, that was a pretty big group. No, he won't move. Yes, he will move, and that will trigger close combat specialist. AI almost always moves if he's being flanked. Not 100% of the time, but almost always, from my experience. If you're flanking an enemy, he will almost definitely move. 
Alright, we have a lot of dudes incoming. I kind of want my operative with my squad now. But this is so risky. I don't want to get her killed. For obvious reasons. I do actually need her to finish the mission. <laughs> but I don't want to lose a soldier. I could dash towards my squad, but that's way too risky. No, I'm not going to do that. She can stay up there. So what about these guys? I think I'll just let them move towards me. Are they on overwatch? No. Yeah, I'll let them move towards me. And just back up. Heading to that location. And set up overwatch. This is only partial cover, it's not great. Yeah, I prefer to use full cover actually. Alright, steady weapon for William. And overwatch or reload? Good question. <laughs> I think I'll reload. And Sarah. I could dash into partial cover. I should reload the scatter blaster. Are there more dodds in this area? I'm not 100% sure about that. Well, reload. So now they will move towards us. That's a sniper. But without snapshot from the looks of it. Yeah, there are more dudes right here. I just can't see them, but they are there. Headed there now. No, nothing. Come on, really? I'll actually use Overwatch in case they run into me. Okay, 88%. That's with steady weapon. And that's a kill. So that has to be a crit. Nice. One down. Few more to go. Let's move towards them a little bit, but not too much. Okay, nothing. Now I can reload. And I definitely should. Since I can overwatch at the same time, if I don't move. We have four more exalts right here. I need them to move towards me a little bit. We can see another guy. So, 68%. I'll take that shot. Come on. Nope, missed. Can't hit every single shot, I guess. I still want to move my operative. I could escort my operative with the assault. That's actually not a terrible idea. But I do risk triggering more exalts like this. Still, I want her grenades. Come here. Okay, can I dash towards Sarah? I can, but I think I prefer to wait one more turn. It might also be easier if I move first. Okay. Hmm. Well, I could move like this, but then I risk triggering more exalts if there's a group waiting down there. Right, let's not do that. 42%, that's way too low. I'm just going to back up and maybe lure that dude towards me. Overwatch. And Overwatch. As for Sam, I'll actually use Steady Weapon this time. Come on, don't be shy. Well, he doesn't want to move towards me, apparently. Can we hit him again? Where the heck are they? There we go, three exalts. Am I actually flanking them right now? No. Yes, I am flanking two of them. Alright, thanks for your cooperation. This guy is a heavy. One of them is a heavy, or is he? I need to take a closer look. No, that's not a heavy. I thought I saw a rocket launcher, but no. Doesn't really matter which one I'm going to hit. 100% chance to hit and 15% chance to crit on both. Nice one. So am I close enough to throw a grenade now? Probably not, no. I would have to be much closer. This is still super risky. But I need her grenades. Hmm. Alright, I'm doing it. It should be fine. Alright, let's go. This is slightly risky. But I do have the assault. Okay, we didn't trigger anything. And now I'll actually be able to use the grenades. 
in a turn or two. So let's put the assault to Godios on the next turn. Renegade gun is up. Okay. I'm just going to wait one more turn. Overwatch. They will definitely move now. But not towards me. I can shoot Hulk, but that's okay. Really? You panicked? Come on now. You took free damage and you panicked? That's kind of annoying. But whatever. It's really annoying when mech troopers panic. Covering fire. Nice one. Will he hit us? We are behind full cover. Nope, he missed. I'll have to reload my sniper rifle now, unfortunately. So, no damage from William on this turn. And my mech trooper is panicking. This will not be a very good turn for us. And that's a kill. <laughs> this build is pretty good for Overwatch. Come on. Yep, Hulk won't be very useful on this turn. I do have run and gun. But I don't think I want to use it on this turn. Yeah, let's move towards them a little bit first. This will trigger Overwatch, that's okay. I got 17 hit points. 9 damage! Yeah, that was more damage than I expected, actually. Now I'm down to 8 hit points. That's not so great. Yeah, change of plans. 57. Twice. The next one will be 67 if we miss the first one. But I'm unlikely to do 10 damage with this shot. I would have to get a crit. Miss twice in a row. Okay, that's even worse. And I need to reload on William. This was not a very good turn. I can take a shot. Right, I forgot he has whatever it's called. Lock and load. This won't be a kill. At least I don't think so. No. But he's down to two hit points only. Okay, grenades. I still got the grenades. My operative only has seven hit points, which is not amazing. I need to kill these guys before I start hacking the relays. Because hacking the relays will trigger more exalts. These aren't the relays like on the transmitter encoder mission. Five damage. I can still hear a patrol somewhere. Right, Hulk is back. That panic was really annoying. Can we kill them yet? 52%? Oh, that's a kill. Nice one. That had to be a crit then? Yep, 14 crit. Enemy target eliminated. Now I could use run and gun if I can kill the dude with two hit points. If I'll kill him, I will use run and gun to kill the other one. Come on now, that was three misses in a row. And now I'm out of ammo, really? 28%. That's a kill. William fixed what Sam messed up. Now I can use run and gun. And kill this dude. This should be a guaranteed kill. This should be close to 100% chance to hit. 90%. There we go, that's a kill. I need to heal Sarah. But I can start hacking the relays. Not literally right now, but in one or two turns. I need to move towards the relay. There are still some exhausts around here. I can hear one more patrol moving around. But I seriously need to heal Sarah first. So, Sam can do that. I'm on it, Commander. I do have two medkits. William has the other one. But I think I'll save the other one, in case someone gets critically wounded. That's unlikely, but not impossible. Elite operatives can do quite a lot of damage. Okay, that's 19 hit points. That should be fine. But that's 14 hit points, not 19. <laughs> 19 would be a little bit too much. With our current setup. Reload. Not hacking yet. I need to reload everything and move a little bit closer. And there is still one more patrol somewhere. Reload. I think this is going to be one of the last exalt missions. It might even be the last mission before the HQ attack. And there's a group inside the building. Okay, well, let's check this place out first. 
I don't want any nasty surprises. They might be outside the building. That's definitely not a group that I triggered already. Okay, Overwatch. William can stay somewhere around here, but he does need line of sight. He could stay next to the comm relay. Maybe. This one is not actually active, but we can use it as cover. Alright. Reload. Having ammo conservation is actually quite nice and useful. Maybe I should heal some. I probably should, actually. Yeah, okay, I'll do it on the next turn then. 8 hit points is kind of low. If he gets hit, he might actually die with only 8 hit points. But that will use my last medkit. These missions can be quite tricky. Easy now, soldier. Because if I brought a medic, I would lose quite a lot of firepower. So it's really not obvious which exact classes to bring to four soldier missions. But I like that part. There are many ways to do this. Okay, I need to find that group. Or at least I would like to. Hulk can take a look. They might be outside of the building. I think that's the case. Yeah, they are clearly not here. So they are probably in the back. Or they are just patrolling around. Moving. But they should be outside of the building. I would have found them by now, if they were inside the building. Yeah, they are right here. So I'll see them when I open the door, probably. Yes, I don't think we're alone out here either. Maybe because this is a covert operation? I don't know, just a crazy thought. Here they are, four dudes. I see a sniper, no rocketeers, but these are all elite operatives. So I let them come to us. Yep. This should be close enough to get a reaction shot if they try to move in. And William... Stay outside with steady weapon. I do have some grenades. Maybe I'll be able to actually put them to good use now. But I also need to be careful. Okay, Overwatch. Right, nothing just yet. Let's take a look. Move towards the door. Okay, I can see one door. I'm definitely not close enough to throw a grenade like this. Yeah, I'm not. I'll wait one more turn. I'm not in a huge rush. And I can use that turn to move some a little bit closer. They might try to move in, but they are going to have a bad time if they actually try that. Now I'll move outside with Hulk. That will probably trigger a reaction shot or two, but he can take a hit or two. I think I saw steady weapon or something. Yeah, I can see steady weapon. Well, let's move outside then. But not too far. Like this. There they are. That's a perfect grenade target, but I don't think I can throw a grenade that far. No, there's no way I can do that. That's way too far. I need to bring William here. Yep. He's not very useful all the way in the back, actually. I was hoping they will move towards me. But they aren't in a rush to do that, apparently. There's not a lot of cover here. I could use Hulk as high cover element. I could also dash towards these guys and then use a flamethrower. But I'm flanking all of them now. So they will probably move. They don't actually have any cover around there. They are just staying in the corner. That's interesting. I'm curious what the AI behavior is going to be in this situation because they can't actually move into cover of any kind. Alright, let's kill this one. That's a kill. They might just stay there and shoot us. They might try to move towards some cover. They might dash towards cover. I could totally use running gun right now and kill one more, but no, that's a little bit silly. I don't think Sam will be able to take a shot from here. Oh, he actually can. 100%. Yeah, I'm taking that shot. 80% chance to crit. Yep. Not bad. Could have been better. But I'll take it. Alright, we're done. So... They are going to shoot Hulk. 
All right. They aren't even trying to move into cover. Because there's no cover in their range. We'll kill all of them on this turn easily. That one missed. We are still fine. I can actually hit them with the flamethrower. <laughs> That's always satisfying. Let's do that then. And we will actually kill one with fire. <laughs> this is always satisfying. You never had control of this situation. <laughs> what are you talking about? So, Sam. Some easy kills here, and he actually needs the experience. I can get one kill for him right now. So, rip. And I'll just use Runner Gun to kill the other dude. Yeah, sure. So run and gun, and this will be a guaranteed kill for sure. Don't even need rapid fire for this one. It's just a kill. Rip. Now we can hug the com relays. Alright, but I need to reposition William yet again. Hmm. Well, he has to stay somewhere, so this is fine for now. Not hacking yet. I need to reload. I might actually wait. For run and gun before I do the hacking. There's no huge rush. We're not on a timer or anything like that. We can take our time. Reload everything and I'll just wait for run and gun to be up. Okay, reloaded everything. I still got one more flamethrower. Come here. Okay. One more turn and then I'll hack it. So what about Sarah? Somewhere around here will be good enough. And Overwatch again. Not much point to Overwatch, but I can do it instantly, so whatever. Hug this one and move into cover. There's one more com relay this way. We've decrypted a piece of the data, and it looks like And now we'll get a few exalts. By the hack. Overwatch the then. The Actually, steady weapon. And Overwatch. Here they come. This one will be easy to kill. Where is he anyway? We hit something. <laughs> we tried to shoot something. But why is the camera here? There he is. Well, that was a little bit awkward. But I can kill that guy easily. Another one. Nice. This is a really good infantry build for situations like this. The only thing missing is a crit. With Overwatch. Which we can do because we have opportunist. Alright, this is a very easy kill. Granted kill. Rip. I could actually get a kill for my operative if I want to. No, I'm not close enough, probably. I'm well, rolling. Sarah will get a kill then. Hi. Say hello to my scatter blaster. This will be a kill. Rip. Alright, one more. Relay. Steady weapon again. Let's move towards that relay then. There shouldn't be any exhausts on the map right now. Yep. The AI turn is instant, which means there are no more exhausts. But I need to reposition myself slightly before I actually hug this. And I should definitely reload the scatter blaster. Reload the pulse rifle. I'm glad I got ammo conservation project. That definitely helped. As for William... This is pretty good, I think. Hmm. I need him to have line of sight. And yeah, this is actually not good. This is better. He will have a window on both sides. I like that. I could also position him on the roof, but I don't have a grappling hook, so whatever. This is good enough. And Hulk, I'll just dash into the open. Like so. I still have one more flamethrower. We might get to use that. Anything else? That's it. I'm not even using Overwatch. So Sarah needs to be a little bit closer. And Sam needs to be much closer. 
I'll have to escort my operative after this, so some can be somewhere in the center. Alright, looks good. Let's hack it then. And I'll start moving towards the evac zone. We've decrypted the last of the data. Yeah, yeah. We just need to get our operative to the evac point. We have a new objective. So overwatch on everyone, and we'll get a few exhausts right now. And steady weapon on William. Here they come, that's a sniper, I think. Looks like a sniper to me. And... Did we hit? Yep, 12 damage, not bad. And that's an instant kill. Without a crit. <laughs> that guy had a really bad day. So there's one dude back here. But I can't actually shoot him. Which is slightly irritating. But he's not on overwatch. So I'll just dash into cover with my operative. Only two exalts though? That's a little bit weird. I should get more than that. I'm pretty sure I will get more than that on the next turn. And some move a tiny little bit closer. Overwatch. And steady weapon. This guy will move towards us now because he has no targets. So we might get a hit. That's a miss. But that's just one dude. It's not even a rocketeer. What? He moved into the building. Okay. I guess he needed some cover. He's targeting Hulk. I'm okay with that. Yep, more exalts incoming. That's because I moved towards the evac point. Two exalts. And we're getting reaction shot. Nice. 10 critical. I love crits with reaction shots. And this guy is probably going to die, but I need to reposition Sam a little bit. Yeah, he needs cover, obviously. But he should have pretty high chance to hit, 83%. That's a kill. So another one bites the dust. Let's see. There's still that guy inside the building. I could just kill him with run and gun. Yep, that's the easiest way to actually kill him. Might as well. This will be a granted kill. So rip. One more door. We should be almost done. I can move William a little bit. I can actually take a shot. But this won't be a kill, so there's not much point. I could use disabling shot. That might be helpful. If we actually hit. That's the problem with disabling shot. It's not guaranteed to hit. <laughs> what the heck was that? That was a trick shot. I have no idea what that was. But that was impressive. Hey, I can actually use a grenade because why not? It's not like I'll use it for anything else. So have some of this. <laughs> He's actually down to one hit point now. Alright. I might even be able to kill him. If Hulk hits him, that's going to be a kill. 57%? That's a kill. So I guess that this sibling shot wasn't very useful. <laughs> and we should be almost dead now. I mean, almost done. <laughs> Not almost dead. That would be pretty bad. I can almost reach the evac point. I don't think we'll have any more exalts. Actually, there might be one more wave. So I'll position myself a little bit closer. And actually reload. William can use steady weapon. We can overwatch on our operative. And dash back with Sarah. If we get some exhaust spawn spawning close to the evac point, Sarah won't be nearly close enough to do anything about that. Yep, we have one last wave. That's the last one. So, two dodds. Should be easy enough. Well, that, this is still impossible. <laughs> But I actually expected to see more dudes than this, and this is not exactly what I had in mind. I'm just saying, this is still impossible, in case you had any dubs. So let's see, I still have some grenades, might as well use one. I can just run to the evac point right now. But let's actually take a shot or two first before I do that. Not much point 
doing anything with Sana. I don't actually have it on any gun. Sam can shoot twice. Yeah, the next one will be 82%. Come on. There we go, 9 crit. Can I kill that guy? I can't actually see him with William. If I move, I will be able to. But I have 100% chance to hit on that sniper and 15% chance to crit. I might actually kill him. No, 9 damage. I can kill him with a grenade. But let's not get the operative killed. That would be really bad. If I move back here, I'll have full cover and I should be in range to throw the grenade. Yes. This might not actually kill that guy. But it should. Not guaranteed. But I'm going for it anyway. There we go, it killed him. So we just have the sniper left. And he's trying to shoot... Sarah. Yeah, 6 damage. That was the last shot he will ever take. I will actually kill him with the flamethrower. Why? Because I can. <laughs> that had to be unpleasant. Definitely not a good way to go. Alright, let's finish this mission. I can't actually run to the evac point right now. But there are no more exhausts left, so we're done. Excellent work, Commander. 21 exhausts. Did we get any promotions? I didn't actually see any promotions, but we'll get some extra experience for finishing the mission. We got a promotion for Hulk. Oh, nice. That's actually exactly what I needed, because now I can get repair servos. The other options are ready for anything and bring them on. But repair servos are just so good, and he already has resilience, so repair servos is a no-brainer. Alright, I'm actually really happy about that promotion. This is exactly what I needed for Hulk. So let's check... Okay, Argentina and United States. So this mission excluded Nigeria, which is really unfortunate, because I already knew the Exalt HQ is not in Nigeria. I attempted to raid the Exalt HQ in Nigeria before. But the funny part about that is that even if you fail to raid the Exalt HQ in a certain country, it's not reflected in intelligence. So you will still get intelligence that the base is not there, even though you already know that because you tried to raid it. I could do one more intel scan and just do one more mission this month. That will cost me 100 credits. That's probably what I'm going to do. Well, either way, this part is done now, so if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.